Hey guys, welcome to part two of my eye making tutorial series. Unfortunately, this video is in reverse order from the actual process of making eyes. If you are watching this video first, great. I will have a link at the end of this video on how to build the actual eyes. So be sure to check out that video next and I will have that linked in the description below. First, you're going to want to start with a stencil for the basic eye shape, as well as a cut strip of your buckram mesh. I usually will cut out a small portion to work off of, that way I don't make my eyes too big. I also will paint the back of the mesh black if it isn't black already before I paint, that way I am able to see through the eye once it is complete. You are going to want to start with your base color. I like to use acrylic paint for my eyes. And as you can see in this uh, little time lapse, I did struggle a little bit with using the small brush that I did. So if you want to get this painted on much quicker, you actually can use a wide brush or these foam brushes pictured on the screen if you don't want to struggle like I did in this clip. Basically you want to get a couple layers on so you have a nice and even base coat. So do a couple passes of the base color for this set of eyes I am doing blue. Let that dry and then you will be able to move on to adding the shadows and the highlights. Before you start adding in shadows and highlights, you are going to want to mark out the basic size and shape of the eye. I do mark this out with a sharpie and I make it slightly larger than the original stencil. That way I have some room to go over and paint. Um, and this will also serve as a base that I can glue the eye onto the foam or plastic ring to build the eye, which will be in the next video. Here I take a darker color of blue and add in the shadows. It really does depend on the eye, what color or colors I will use for shadows. Generally, I like to keep the top of my eyes darker than the bottom and I will add highlights to the bottom of the eye, but it is really dependent on your own style and what you think looks best for eyes. In this clip here, I am showing how I highlighted this set of purple eyes. I actually used some white for these eyes and there are multiple different techniques that you can use including just using white to highlight the area but do note I am not a trained professional artist this is all self-taught stuff that works for me Other examples would be using a lighter color of whatever base color you are using, like in this set of eyes I am using light blue, which you can see was around the middle of the eye and the bottom. Once you have your shadows and highlights in, it is time to trace out where the pupil is going to be. So for this set of eyes, they are going to be a more cat-like pointed pupil. And you really just want to use the stencil to trace on your pupils so that they are even and symmetrical. Since my pupil is going to be black, I did just use a black Sharpie and then I will go over it with black paint. Again, do this at your discretion. If you are doing a different style of eye, possibly a monochromatic colored eye, you may be using a different color other than black for the pupil. If I did a all monochromatic blue eye, I might have used a different shade of blue for the pupil. Really you do have an endless set of combinations and styles that you can do for eyes, and this is just one example. So 
please feel free to be creative. This is just an example and you do not have to follow everything that I do to a T. And again, as I said, I'm not a trained professional. This is all just stuff I've picked up through trial and error and may not necessarily be quote unquote correct or proper technique, but this is just what works for me. So slowly work on painting your pupils, whatever your desired color is, and then we will move on to the next step. Once your pupils have dried, it is now time to add in little highlights, details, and eye spots. For this set of eyes, I did have square little eye spots stenciled out, and I will be doing a thin little white ring around the bottom portion of the pupils. This just, in my personal opinion, gives it a little bit more pop and adds some life to the eye that otherwise wouldn't necessarily be there. Again, do this at your discretion and whatever you think and feel looks best. Once you are ready, you can begin tracing in your eye spots. Whether you use a stencil or freehand it like I have here, it is up to you. Generally, with eye spots, I tend to freehand them more because they won't necessarily always be in the exact same position for the left and the right eye, but in this one they are pretty much the same, so it was pretty easy to do. Once those are drawn in, you can then fill them in as white or whatever color you may be using. I also will add some highlights into the actual pupil itself. I generally tend to take white and kind of smudge it and smooth it in um, with a sort of like dry brushing technique where I get a minuscule amount of white and kind of rub it into the eye to give it a little bit more life. Again, this step is not necessary, but just something that I like to do because it does brighten up the eye just a little bit and gives it nice character and detail. And I do want to cut in here real quick, guys. If you are enjoying this video or you have learned something new today, please consider liking and subscribing as it does really help me and the channel get out to more and more people. And it lets me know that the tutorials and the videos that I am putting out are helpful and worthwhile. So thank you in advance, guys. Here again is a, another set of eyes that I was also working on and in this pair the eye spots are circles and the base color is a purple with actual black as the shadows so these are a bit more cartoonified and have harsher shadows than anything else and I did add some little details in here of a contrasting color orange rather than the white highlights and details in the previous eyes. This is just another example to showcase that you pretty much can do anything with your eyes to make them unique or different, that there isn't any hard or fast rule that you have to keep them the same, that you have to keep them all the same color. You can add different colors in for highlights if you want. Thank you. 
for this pair of eyes, I did also include a little bit of white detailing around the purple, but again, that is optional and not required to make a pair of eyes. But feel free to add in as much detail as you want and let your eyes dry completely and then you can move on to sealing the eyes. I did not get a video of the eye sealing process but you will pretty much use some sort of acrylic seal so that if your eyes happen to ever get wet the paint won't run, smudge, smear, get ruined or anything like that. I like to use this sealant that is on screen here to seal my eyes as I have found the best results with this. And as always, the link to the materials will be in the description below, so feel free to check those out when you have a chance. But those are the eyes. I do hope that this video helped explain how eyes are made and painted. And be sure to watch part two, but if you liked this video guys, please consider liking and subscribing as it does really help me quite a bit. But that is all for now guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. As always, I am Kuro from Kimono Dungeon Fursuits, see you in the next video, Bye bye